Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And this was uh this video was going to be uh part ten. However, it's now part nine. The other the other footage was lost. So I don't know, there was like an error or something like that, and well, it's gone now. <laughs> so um yeah, this is going to be episode nine, and then further further on with the next video, it'll be ten. But yep, just wanted to let you guys know that. Well, see ya. Give me one second, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Nothing to fear. I'll help you win. But How can I help? <laughs> Let's take a bit of member to buckle up. Based on the bio signals detected. The rescue target, Bell, has a high probability of being trapped here. Additional exploration areas have been ruled out. The fastest route to the target location has been calculated. Warning. ID signal for military spec carrier vehicle detected along the path. Please respond accordingly. Hold on just a little longer, Bell. Warning. Incoming signal detected. They're bombing at random? Better be careful moving forward. We have to stay out of the targeted areas. We have to avoid it. Warning. Carrier vehicle signal detected. Damn. I better use the track in front to speed up. We have to avoid it. Careful! to avoid it. the mechanism to reverse the tracks.
Careful! We can get moving now.
Slow down. No one's fighting for it. So what? I'm hungry after being stuck in that hollow for so long. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> awesome! <sighs> Even though I dropped our new stock in the hollow... The customers will probably be disappointed, having no new movies. <laughs> sure you don't mean you'll be disappointed? I guess that means we'll have to go restock tomorrow. And this time, you can choose. Uh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I've got some good news for you. You wanted to see a documentary, right? So, I did a pretty good job of recording, right? <sighs> Isn't this just footage of the rescue operation? So what? It's got a factual basis, just like a documentary, with a shaky camera and fairies editing. It combines exciting battles with an emotional rescue operation. Let's put it on the shelves tomorrow. I bet the what? customers will love it. No way. It's far too flashy. Not getting shy on me, are I, you? I'm not. Nice work. We saved her.
hope you win. The lunch is on you. I'm still not sure about the um the how to modify that equipment. I, I don't know if it has something to do with the like maybe I have to progress more into the story or Did you call me? Yeah. I guess that's like you gotta use other bang boos or something like that. I mean not bang boos, uh W engines to modify it. Okay, I get it now. some hard labor starlight it's time to shine Done so double the accuracy. Starlight, it's time to shine. on you.
Time for some hard labor? <laughs> I have How can I help? Stay <sighs> Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. How can I help? It's our turn, bro. <gasps> Time for Ready for combat. Andy, in position. Need something? My services are expensive. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Need something? My services are expensive. Master, we have arrived at the Target Hollow area for this commission. This is an abandoned worksite with many obstructions caused by unfinished buildings. The building materials from the Commission are nearby, marking quantity and location of target materials. This seems to be the cleanup area's surface. Calculating most effective path into the area. Give Barry some time. Take the path on the right, Wise. complete. Wow. There's so much in the way. We can't even reach some of the cleanup targets. Master, please focus on accessible targets first. Master, this is one of the abandoned construction sites in need of clearing. According to the scan, there are no hostile units inside. The Commission's objective, destroy all crates and paint cans on the site. Unlike Ethereals, they won't fight back. So please, go nuts. <laughs> you gotta love fairy snarky comments. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Master, 
Please start cleaning up the junk at the construction site. There are piles everywhere. Fine. For a commission fee. You cleared the first target. Great job. Warning. Unusually active target detected. Huh? Is it an enemy? It'd be nice if we could get it. Agreed. I suggest pursuit. Master, this is also one of the cleanup targets. Use the same method as the previous target. Data scans found several small security facilities in operation. Please use caution when clearing them. While Master enjoys cleaning up, I'll commandeer the HDD's computing power to extend the scan range and search for an alternate route. Estimated energy bill will rise by 5 to 50% this month. property of a company called Bellabog Heavy Industries. It contains a set of advanced blast plugins that I can transfer to you. Removing application plugin. 20% complete. Continuing removal. 40% complete. Warning. Target logic core reactivated. Plug-in removal emergency abort. Shoot, it's moving again. Master, plug-in transfer failed due to unexpected startup of the target Bangboo. Please subdue the Bangboo to complete the transfer. The target Bangboo has the ability to release explosives. Calculations show a gap of several seconds between release and the resulting explosion. Suggestion. Send the explosive back to the target Bangboo to subdue the target. I will applaud your courage while calculating the cost of repairing EOS. Please be careful. You can do it. Go for it.
I've already marked the final cleanup area. Use explosives to clear any obstacles. Do your worst. last site containing building materials we were commissioned to clean. Follow the procedure of the first two cleanups. Be aware, your explosive performance with the bamboo attracted ethereals to the area. Please dispose of this walking garbage along the way.
Oh, hey, bro. Welcome home. Javasek, I need to talk to you about something. Wise, you're here. We need to talk about two important things today. Number one, our income and expenses this month. Uh, Belle, don't jump to conclusions. These games... Huh? What games? This is a serious issue. Don't change the subject. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before, so no change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't be too proud of yourself, Fairy. You're the next topic. So, wise, because of Fairy, our electricity bill is now five times higher. Seems like we're missing something, Fairy. There'd better be an explanation. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. Huh. <laughs> now she starts pretending to be useless. Thanks to her, HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's going to go up. This month's mortgage payment is going to be a struggle. Yeah. But even at times like this, you can't take risks just because you need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a killer commission on the proxy network just now. But the other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that we'll be contacted privately. But our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So it's strange someone would come looking for us specifically. The client may have some ulterior motive. And there's been a lot of fraud on the proxy network recently. I wish there was a way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous and user info is highly classified. I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low-resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the Old Capital Metro Renovation Project. Huh? Really? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was up to, another round of bidding was held for the project. The company that took over was Bellabog Industries. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. Well, that's convenient. Let's take a look. The best of any show? Bang Boo Nose! Hey kids, it's Bang Boo Nose time again! Yay! Yay! So, who's our guest today, Leon? need to. I'm already here. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest, Mr. Anton from Bella Something Industries. I said I'm already here, and it's Bellabog. Bellobog. Bellabog Industries. 
<laughs> so, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro reconstruction proposals of Bellowbog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. How are children supposed to understand such a complicated topic? In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. They have independently developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use that can effectively resist ether corruption and work safely in the hollow. Thanks to this, Bellabog is able to effectively use the old metro infrastructure in the hollow without explosives or demolition. Compared to Vision, Bellabog's plan reduces the actual cost by 21%, environmental impact by 53%, and increases infrastructure usage by 75%. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Wow, Bellabog's awesome. It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. Is Bellabog's plan really better? Hmm. That's hard to say, Roar. The pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system. Not some half-hearted refurbishment, Roar. Leon, when did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow? Roar. In my opinion, this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. Wow, Vision is awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. <laughs> so Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. What? What? Bruh. You're actually a lion? What? <laughs> Anton, <laughs> I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good. I'm a little surprised to hear they had a scandal like that. I wonder how much drama this Metro renovation project is going to stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. They contacted us? Positive. I detect some threatening words in the message. Please allow me to read it aloud. What? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Barry, the next time you mention threatening words, remember to specify who's under threat. Hmm... Judging from their message, the client must be in big trouble. They sounded pretty serious. But asking to meet in person is weird. Why would you meet with the proxy in person without explaining the commission itself? And at 5 o'clock in the morning? Wait a sec! Wise, look at the first line. Faithen, we need you. We never mentioned we're Faithen on this account. How do they know? 
Master, the client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internet account has received the corresponding payment. Very likely this meetup is a trap. I think it's a bad idea to take this commission, even if they did pay us in advance. You should ask Fairy to politely decline the client. Master, the amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? What? How much? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. What if the client really does need us? We can't just ignore their cry for help, can we? Hmm... I... I guess it'd be okay if we just go take a look. <laughs> Wise, just pretend to be an early morning jogger tomorrow and go have a peek. It's almost time for the meeting. You ready to go? Got the pepper spray ready. As far as self-defense measures go, it sounds pretty mild. Anyway, I hope you won't have to test its viability. Be careful, Wise. Barry and I will be ready to back you up whenever you need us. Wise? Are you there yet? What's the situation? There's a suspicious guy talking to himself. That brawny guy ahead? What's he saying? <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh, <laughs> that'd make for a very thin dictionary. Whatever. They'll be here soon. Then, I'd go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy is really shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of Videotape 16-5 on Shelf 3, Section H. Section H? The one with all those thrillers I don't like from the old civilization? And Wise is too scared to watch them. Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! I'll spare you the scream, but I must say, your cheery greeting really caught me off guard. Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithen, right? Huh? Wise, this guy looks familiar. Wasn't he a guest on Bang Boon Nose yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithen? I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person, 
Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, can you explain how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours? <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithen, and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. Nicole complimented us like that. I'm flattered. <laughs> You're too modest! The Cunning Hairs highly recommend it! Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the Cunning Hairs who introduced us? I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, of course. let's concentrate on Classic the matter at hand. Nicole. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. That construction site you mentioned, isn't it that metro project you took over? Bingo! If it were still up to vision, the nearby area would be blown to bits. But now... It's a battlefield where my construction bros are pouring their blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> if we're going on a field trip, we need to get prepared. Why don't you go wait with my brother over by the parking lot? He can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift then. We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. I think you're supposed to say, don't be nervous. Watch out! Stay back! Hey, what have you done now? Oh, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Looks like that's it. Sorry I was late. A real beast, huh? This is Bellabod's leader? <clears throat> hello. Oh, hello there, Mr. Proxy. Sorry I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Huh? You're not the president? Ah! What are you doing, Grace? Put me oh. down! Huh. I said put me down this way! Allow me to introduce our president. <clears throat> I'm president of Bellabog Industries! Kaleida Bellabog! Hello, Faithin. Sorry to have you.
have you witnessed the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. We got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned, our company has taken over the Metro Project, but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Mr. Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the Proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. Can you tell me more about the enemies? This may be of some help in my proxy work later on. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But, since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. And first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV! As if all that wasn't bad enough, during all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? Sadly, I don't recall hearing about them. Our primary edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. I'm very proud of these kids. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. I've always taken care of them. And I'm the one who improved upon the prototypes so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for their routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Were they corrupted by ether? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellabog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we'd like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton.
command. Neat and tidy. Can I hear? Sorry about that. I ended up uh, ending the recording a little too early. <laughs> I forgot to do the outro to it. Um, but I will do one more mission here. Roxy, according to the signal, seems like the grappler we're looking for is somewhere in this hollow. It's outside the construction site and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. I'll make sure your commission fee is well spent. Leave it to me. <laughs> the cunning hairs did mention that you excel at everything, including making sure you're generously compensated. Anyway, let me tell you about the grappler first. 
The grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh, the main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. No, this is just my humble opinion, but... Our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Monotonous work? Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after back-breaking training day after day. And it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow, becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel! I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer him on. Who am I kidding? Cheering is not my style. That's Anton for you. Such speeches are how he motivates people at the start of each new project. Let's be off. Our priority now is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me! Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Ha! Perfect! Let's go, bro! Anton, don't rush off on your own. Folks, this one is pretty tough. Get it back. 
dilapidated structures and obstacles exist in this area. Proceed through this crack to continue searching for the target. You're small enough to easily squeeze through. Correction. Agent Ben Bigger will require considerable effort to pass through. <sighs> My bro is stuck. He can't make it through. Don't move, Anton. We'll see what we can do. Scouting new route. But what about the ethereals along the way? No problem! Piece of cake! Master, there is no point in staying here. Proceed to the next target. Great! Nothing can stop us! Now, let's look for that grappler! It is likely our target. Look! The grappler's up ahead! Don't worry! They're no match for me and my bro!
ethereals are surrounding us. Doesn't matter. They can't stop us. Don't push me. Stay still, I'm gotcha. Stay still. Come on, try to Bring it on! 
shift is over! Switch with you, sis! Awesome! Fun! Your worthy challenge! Ah! <laughs> 
are finally here I've been waiting huh this guy's had a complete change of personality his installed voice was nothing like this grappler your smart core may have malfunctioned come back with us so we can fix you don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine I'm a real bro fearless and unyielding a real bro you call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack Oh? Look who's talking! The answer is simple then! Let's battle! One on one! The Battle of Real Bros! <laughs> I'd better take things seriously! Don't underestimate me! Witness my power! An 
Kaepernick. Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast! He's trying to escape! <laughs> you may have made quite the effort tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you, so give up now and admit defeat! I'm a real bro, and these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever! Wait! If it's just about your workload, we can work this out! If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals! Just come back with us, heavy-duty grappler Hans! Silence! Don't call me by that basic name! It's totally not my vibe! A real bro should pick his own name! Powerful and bold! Like a total beast! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... just said you're a real bro. Is this how far your faith in yourself goes? You... Why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Anton, my brother! Wait, what's going on? It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine, Hans! So you're still called Hans. This is a really weird story. <laughs>